Hey team, Brendan here. Welcome back. We are going to get onto a topic that is pretty freaking important, and that is your menu. A good menu done well can make you so much money, but a poor menu will equal zero sales. And unfortunately, the problem is so many people do get it wrong. In this video, we're gonna run through the three most important aspects of making your menu super profitable. And that is the items on your menu, the display of your menu, and most importantly, the pricing of your menu. Let's get into it. If you want more content on getting your business started or making it more profitable, hit subscribe, turn the notifications on so that you know every time a new video is uploaded to help your business. The first aspect is the display of your menu. This is a very short one, but very important. I'm gonna start by saying, stop handwriting your menu, get it printed and get it printed very clearly. Stop being so fancy about everything with calligraphy and colors. Just make it obvious and easy to read. The idea of your menu is for your customer to make a decision very quickly and easily to buy that product and then move on. This is a theme that will keep coming up through this video about selling as many meals per day as possible. And if people can make a decision quickly because they can read your menu quickly, that helps that process. On a side note, if the theater around your business is on point, and if you don't know what I mean by theater, check out this video, the need for a menu is actually less. We've had our biggest business not have a menu displayed or on offer to people until they're at the register ordering. There is so much on display, people can see what's on offer, they're experiencing everything that's around the business and they're getting in the line because it's what they want. The price, the product actually means very little because it's been displayed to them in a great way. Theatre around your business can be as good if not better than a menu. Items on your menu. Stop trying to be a restaurant. No one is expecting you to be a restaurant and have ever-changing specials and 45 meals on your menu. Stop. You're a mobile food business. People actually expect a bit of stability around your food and a menu that doesn't change that often because they know what they like from your store. So when it comes to items on your menu, limit it to one to four as an absolute maximum. And I know so many people will be like, I need more than that, my customers expect more. They don't. Four is the absolute maximum. I've spoken about this before. Have a feature product that you are always known for that is always on your menu and then build around that item. I could sit here and give you reasons all day why you should limit your menu from one to four items. But the main reasons are you can control your cost of goods even more because you're buying the same product over and over and you can actually buy in bulk. You limit your wastage because you are prepping the same thing that can be used over and over again Again and roll into the next week, there's less food that will go in the bin. Here comes that topic again. You're limiting the amount of time it takes a customer to make a decision. Just so you know, people actually really hate making decisions. If you can give them an option straight away, they will choose that and they will actually be happier. The longer they have to sit there and try and make a decision, the less chance there is they'll actually buy something from you. Help them make a quick decision, which allows for a quick purchase, and then they can move on and you're on to the next customer. Above everything else, the most important reason you limit your menu is your speed of service. Your speed of service increases your capacity, which I talk about all the time. The more meals you can serve per hour, the more money you make. So if you're set up to serve one or two or three or four meals only, you're gonna be able to serve so much faster. Everything will be set up and prepared. You can cook ahead. You know people are only ordering these one or two things. So that meal is there ready for them. Them. They order, they get their food, the customer is even happier, they move on, they tell their friends, if you need quick food, you go to them. You will find the more meals you can serve in a day, the longer your line will be because more people want quick food. They don't want to sit around all day. You are not a restaurant. And finally, pricing your menu. This is actually broken down into two parts. The first part is your cost of goods sold and what it costs you to prepare the meal to serve to a customer. You have to make sure that there's a good margin in there for you to actually make money. I'm not gonna touch too much on cost of goods here, but go and watch this video. It gives you all the details around your cost of goods as well as a template and how to use it to calculate your own cost of goods within your business. 
The second part to pricing is knowing your target market. Yes, I know this pesky target market keeps popping up and I keep mentioning it. Knowing your target market dictates what they're willing to pay for a meal. There is no point pricing your meals at $12 if your target market will only pay eight. It's all about knowing the demographic that wants to buy your food. Make sure you are always at the top end of what your target market are willing to pay. If you're seen as cheap, you will end up buying cheap and deliver a cheap product. If you are delivering a quality product and charging a quality price, people perceive that as value and will still purchase. It is so much easier to make a quality business when you are charging at the top end of what your target market is wanting to pay. If your target market can pay $12 for that meal, make sure you are charging at 12. You'll be surprised by what people are willing to pay for a good quality meal. Don't underestimate what you're serving. I often get asked, should I be charging more on my menu items for days where it costs me to trade in an event versus days where I get a site for free, whether I'm street trading. My recommendation is to always keep your price point the same no matter where you are trading. If you are charging at the top end of what your target market is willing to pay anyway, it just means those free days, you've got a more margin on your product. And on those days, to be honest, you're probably selling less. On those event days where you are being charged to be there, you'll probably sell more items, but your margin will be slightly less. Overall, you will come out ahead as long as you're charging as a premium product but keep your pricing the same. Changing your menu depending on the event. If you're doing a smaller event with less people, I recommend dropping the menu items down to even if it's a single item so that you can serve as many people as possible very quickly. If you're going to a bigger event, have your standard, your feature item, and then have something more expensive to give with more margin that gives you as an upsell the opposite direction. You've heard the old Maccas, would you like fries with that? Well, let's go a bigger meal that costs more money. It's a great way to boost your spend per head and put more money in your till. Keep track of your menu items. Know the menu items that are selling and some that aren't. You may think things are selling, but look through your point of sale system. Understand what is going off the shelves and what is not. Really double down on those items that people are asking for, the items that are making you good money, and get rid of the dead wood, so to speak, of stuff that people really just aren't buying. Remember, your menu is all about serving as many customers as you can on every single trade day. If your menu is big, legible, easy to read, there's limited items so your customer can make a really quick decision. The capacity within your stall is quite high because you're only serving one or two items so customers aren't waiting for food, which keeps them that little bit happier as well. And you're charging at a price point that's giving you really good margin, making money every time you're out trading. You've designed a great menu and you'll be super profitable in the long run. Remember, always ask for feedback when you can. Good luck out there.